Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this ClickSense tutorial video, we will going to look at the max string function, which is one of the string functions. And uh, it finds the string values in the expression and returns the last text value sorted over a number of records. So let's see how we can uh, better understand it with the help of the data. So over here, if you see, we have a simple data set where we have sales group, team, date, amount, and their respective values. And these values are uh, separated by the delimiter, which is pipe. Okay. So ideally what it will probably do is uh, identify the maximum string. So for example, if you see in case of East, we have gamma, we have alpha, delta, and beta. So the maximum string is nothing but gamma, right? And in case of West, we have the maximum strings like uh, we have string values zeta, um, epsilon, eta, and uh, theta. So in that case, zeta is the maximum string because of the obvious alphabetical order. Like z is the biggest one in the case of west, and in case of east, gamma is the biggest one. So let's see how we can identify this. And uh, for that, we will create. Uh, something like one new table max underscore string table in this max string table we will load the sales group comma we will specify the max string function and within max string we will specify the team team is over here as you can see right we will call it like max underscore team and uh, resident resident of uh, team data group by because we have used the dimension sales group so sales group so that's pretty much it what you need to do and uh, if i'm uh, expecting this right and right, uh, reading this definition right then for east we should get gamma and for west we should get zeta so let's hit save and load the data over here close it come to analysis and uh, create a table table is over here at the dimension sales group because on the sales group we have iterated our team values and add one more column dimension which is max team so yes as you can see for east we get gamma for west we get zeta so that's basically the function is that based on whatever the maximum value is it will going to identify now if you look at um, it also has dates right so what if, if we want to identify the maximum date so for that what we need to do is first of all we need to say that uh, what is a date format so right now it looks like uh, it's uh, dd mm and uh, yyy so we need to set the date format set date format and then equals to dd m m y y y y semicolon and uh, max underscore date and then max string over here we will specify date so with this it should give you the right output because date is the field which is over here and uh, we have mentioned it here as well so we will call it max date now and save this load the data click close and come to analysis and now we get the dates over here so for east what you are getting is uh, 2nd may 2013 um let's see for east 1st may 2nd may um i and second may is here but we see that uh, we have more higher value like first july august so ddmm yyyy is basically the date format we have given to dte set date format now just look at the main script and over here if you see we have the date format over here probably it's clashing so what i'll do is comment it save this and load the data and let's see what we get in the front end yeah so now we get it right so 11 and 12 so november and december 
that we are specifying it over here um, for east that's 111 for west that's 112 so that is what i wanted to show you uh, both from the string and the date perspective how you can specify a proper date format or you could have uh, given this date format here in the max function itself over here uh, so that uh, we don't have to specify it again but since it was in a different uh, tab itself so i thought of specifying it but that's about how you can specify the max string and this max string is uh, also available here in the expression as well so if i say max string and uh, then specify the team over here and click apply so we get the maximum string over here as well for the team and this is something which is coming from the back end so up to you where you want to specify whether in the back end or in the front end you will get the output as you would specify it so that's about it the max string function and i'll meet you the new video the new clicksense topic